Hi there, and welcome back to Daily Bible Promises with a Twist. And today, as always, we're going to be reading from the New International Version, just one verse. Psalm 119, verse 105. Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. Sometimes when we read a very familiar Bible verse, such as this one, we can get into the mindset of same old, same old. So today, let's read that from the Message Bible, just to get a little bit of a different slant to a very familiar verse. So that's Psalm 119, verse 105. By your words, I can see where I'm going. They throw a beam of light on my dark path. And then we're going to skip down to verse 110 in the Message Bible. The wicked do their best to throw me off track, but I don't swerve an inch from your course. As an adult, I have to admit, I can never imagine myself going camping ever again. However, when I was a child, my family went camping every year because it was a cheap way for a family with five children to experience a family vacation together. Although I don't remember many of the skills that I learned during that period of time, I do remember one skill, and that is when you are using a flashlight at night, or perhaps your flashlight on your smartphone, to keep that flashlight pointed at your feet and at the path that is set before you, but keep that flashlight in the center of whatever path you're walking along and to not be waving that light back and forth in a swinging motion, trying to get a wide sweep so you have a broader picture of what is on your left or your right. That will just disorientate you, especially if you're in a very dark place. When we're walking in a place of darkness where we're not really sure what lays ahead of us, where we're going, what God is calling us to next, it's important to remember two things. Number one, we're walking on a path. Therefore, we have to keep going. As it says, by your words, I can see where I'm going. It is not saying, by your words, I can see where I'm standing. And the second thing is to keep the main thing the main thing to not be sweeping back and forth to the left and right, constantly searching out other options, but to keep focused on the path that God has set before you, even if you're not quite sure where that path is going to end up. And it's also vital that we are familiar with the heart of God that is revealed through the Bible. So when we're walking along a path, and we see bunny trails on either side of us, we can easily discern that those indeed are bunny trails because they look nothing like the path that is illuminated by God's word directly in front of us. If you're seeking God for direction, get into his word. And as I have mentioned several times in this series, Read the word in context. Don't take little daily Bible promises or random verses in the Bible as your main means of direction from the Bible. By God's words, we can see where we're going. They throw a beam of light on our dark path. They illuminate it, both his word and his spirit and we need both, and they will illuminate that path so bright that it will not cause us to stumble, even if we can see nothing but a few feet ahead of us. Keep moving.